In the early days of networking, messages could be sent in one of two ways. A broadcast, when a message gets sent to every device, or a unicast, where a message is only sent to one device at a time. These options are not always practical. They can be inefficient and use bandwidth unnecessarily. That's where multicast comes in. Multicast sends a single message to a select group of recipients. This popular option and how to configure it is what I want to talk about today. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain how to configure multicast traffic forwarding on a Cisco Business Series switch using IGMP snooping. To start, navigate to VLAN settings under VLAN management. Take a look at your VLANs. In this case, I'll configure VLAN 115 for multicast and VLAN 1 for default data traffic. If you go to Port VLAN Membership, you can see the VLAN association of each port that the multicast server and subscriber are connected. To enable the IGMP snooping features, navigate to the multicast menu and IGMP snooping underneath the IPv4 multicast configuration. First, I'll select VLAN 115 and click the Edit button. The IGMP snooping status should be enabled. In my case, the switch is acting as a querier, so you won't need to enable the MRouter port's auto learn. You will instead enable the immediate leave option. This can be enabled or disabled without fear of any side effects to IGMP snooping. When enabled, it's made to reduce the time it takes to block unlisted IGMP traffic sent to your device port. Leave the last member query counter set to the default. Use query robustness setting. You'll enable the IGMP querier status since the switch is acting as a querier. You won't use the IGMP querier election for this example, as you are only using one. In this case, I'll use version two of the IGMP querier. For the querier source IP address, select user defined and choose the IP address of the switch. Next, Click on the Apply button to save the settings and close the window. To enable the bridge multicast, navigate to the multicast properties page and make sure that the bridge multicast filtering status is enabled. In this example, I'll select VLAN 115 and make sure IP group address is selected for both forwarding methods for IPv6 and IPv4. Next, navigate to the multicast router port under multicast. By default, the multicast router port is saved as none. On a non-querier switch, though, the uplink for the querier device will be selected as dynamic. Under our forward all option, the default setting is again none. You can keep that the same for all ports. Forwarding is set as the default for unregistered multicast. If you don't want unregistered traffic to be forwarded, you can set it to filter for that specific port. To verify this configuration, I'll use a VLC media player, select the stream option, and select stream again. The file will be found on the second page after clicking next. Select the RTP MPEG transport stream option and click add. I'll enter the multicast IP address and click next. Here, I'll activate transcoding and choose the video H264 and MP3, MP4 option. Click Next, choose Stream All Elementary Streams, and finally click Stream. Once it's working, any subscriber who has joined the stream will see the multicast group address is reflecting for the respective VLAN under the IP multicast group address. There you have it. All the steps to configure and verify multicast IGMP snooping on a Cisco Business Series switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.